Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 13 GM has been on my iPhone 6s Plus and 10R for a few days. And so I thought we'd talk about how it's been for me and then we'll talk about how it's been for you based off the YouTube community poll. And then we'll take a look at some of the comments as well. I've been running iOS 13 GM on my iPhone 10R as well as the iPhone 6s Plus for a few days and it's been okay. I wouldn't say it's as good as iOS 13.1. And I think that's why the public beta testers have not received the GM because they're probably going to push them to 13.1 that comes out on the 30th. Now iOS 13 comes out to everybody on the regular older versions, 12.4.1 and earlier on September 19th. So this is the same version as that. And this particular version has quite a few bugs for some people and others are saying it's one of the best updates ever. Now on my iPhone 10R, it's actually been okay, but there's quite a few of you complaining that it's been terrible. So let's talk about any issues I've had. Now on one of my family members, iPhone 10 S's, they really haven't complained of any issues whatsoever. Everything seems to be fast and fluid and that's it. It just seems to work. And the great thing is on the older devices, it's quite fast as well. So scrolling settings, loading of apps is fast. And I just booted this up and it's the first time I've, I've booted the success for a day or so and it's running fine. It opens quickly. You'll see that's the first time the apps open. And I think for the older devices, it's going to be great. It's fast and fluid for most people. However, there are some bugs and the major bug that I heard the most was with mail. So if you're using the stock mail app, this may be a problem for you. I heard this bug over and over and over. Also people aren't aware that some of the features were removed and pushed to iOS 13.1. They're pretty minor features for most people, but for some, they're going to be upset about that. So if you're using shortcuts, for example, it's easier to get to here on the 6s plus, but if you're using shortcuts, you won't have the automations tab on the bottom until 13.1 releases. So just keep that in mind if that's a problem for you. Now, other than mail issues, some people are saying they're having issues with slow animations, specifically on the 10 R occasionally you'll see a little bit of frame rate lag, but overall I think it's pretty good. Also people have said that they're having issues with AirPods not connecting properly, the watch app being a little bit buggy. And I think that's because watch OS six is supposed to be more independent of the phone and less dependent on the app store and things like that. So there could be issues there. Also people are having problems receiving notifications here. Also, people are having issues with the volume buttons on Instagram. So that's probably an Instagram app issue and you'll probably see an update and then CarPlay works, but again, it can be buggy. So this is not a great update. And I think that's why iOS 13.1 is pushed to so quick, so soon after iOS 13 GM on the 30th, because they want to fix a lot of those bugs. So I think they had to push 13 GM because of that iPhone 11 release next Friday. And they wanted to make sure they had that version out. And then we'll, we'll see the follow up another week or so later. Now, one thing I forgot to mention was battery life. Battery life for me has been a solid five to six hours. Now on this device, I haven't used it a ton. Battery health is still 100% and battery health is a physical measurement of the battery. So some people have said it's gone up, but that's just because it's remeasuring it and it was probably inaccurate before and it's accurate now. If it's gone down again, it's probably more accurate now, but over the last few days, you'll see, I have not used this device a ton, but in general expect about about six hours of screen on time, six to seven, depending on the device you're using. If it's a 10 R expect higher numbers. If it's a 6s plus, for example, expect a little bit lower numbers. Now the YouTube community poll had great response over 10,000 votes. So I really appreciate that. And you'll see 38% of you said it was great. Now this is a little bit hard to determine because it's iOS 13 GM and 13.1 beta three, but 38% of you said it was great. 2% said it was terrible, which is pretty good overall. And 12% said, okay, but some bugs, 38% are using older versions. So they'll probably update to 13 when it comes out and 10% are using Android. So I appreciate you sticking around, uh, even though this is an iOS focused video. So, or poll. So let's sort these by oldest first, and you'll see there are 240 comments. Now I went through these and for this particular video, any that I have the little heart on the comment. I'll go back for 13.1, but these are iOS 13 GM related only. I'll read some comments for 13.1 in a different video.
Amon iOS 13 GM, performance and stability have been great so far. Just a few app crashes every now and then, probably when developers update their apps, it'll be a lot better. iPhone XR on iOS 13 GM, generally and performance wise, it's okay, but there are still a few bugs, mostly related to keyboard. And I think that's the keyboard going away. Using iOS 13 GM and still animation slowdowns with iPhone XR. iOS 13 GM is not working too great, having problems with the mail app, not loading up the mail. I've gone back to 13.1 public beta 3, works fine on there. I've been using the GM on my 10s Max, only issues I've got so far is with my AirPods. The easy and quick change from one device to others via CC from iPad on 12.4 to iPhone on 13.1 does not work as it should and breaks my AirPods. Need to reset them around three times since yesterday. Other than that, great experience so far. Also tried using stock mail app to try, but it's not working as it should, so I'm back to Spark. The AirPods thing I haven't had an issue with, but uh, maybe you have an issue with the AirPods themselves, but wait until everything's on the same version to see for sure. I'm on, I'm using iOS 13 GM on my 10s max and it's working fine, but I sure don't like how they did, th did 13 and 13.1 on the same profile. That will make me reconsider running the beta next year. It's very strange how they've done it this time. I'm using iOS 13 GM on the iPhone 6s and there are some bugs. Some apps don't notify some notifications don't vibrate messages app keeps closing and contacts app always opens in a person detail. That's an odd bug, but again, there were five thumbs up on that. So it's probably a lot of people, terrible battery, lots of bugs on my iPhone eight plus with iOS 13 GM. Every beta before this was better. I wouldn't say it was better at all uh, in most cases, but that's not true for everyone. Obviously iOS 13 GM runs really fast and smooth for my iPhone seven. The battery is just about the same as iOS 12.4 overall good and package software. Love it. iOS 13 GM has some bugs and I run it into the keyboard disappearing on my new iPhone 10s. just got it on the eighth, but I was beta testing iOS 13 on my iPhone seven plus, and it was bad iPhone seven plus iOS 13 GM mail app freezes volume buttons, not working in Instagram. Other than that, it's pretty stable with good battery. I have iOS 13 GM on my 6s and it seems there are some bugs left, such as the volume buttons not working when I try to change the sound on Instagram. That's the major annoying bug for me. Other than that, nothing serious. I hope they can fix it soon. I love the Q. Please. Can we expect more betas than the beta three? Yes. I would expect iOS 13.1 beta three, uh, to have maybe beta four or even five, probably four before the final is released. Using iOS 13 GM on my iPhone 6s and it's been great, but when I try to edit a video and save, it pops up an error. I don't know if it's just me or everyone. I responded to this one already, but you'll see iOS 13 GM seems really clean and works really well on my iPhone 10 R. I'm actually a bit hesitant to update to 13.1 after this. And as you can see, I said, you shouldn't be hesitant. 13.1 is much better. And I definitely think it is. We'll read a couple more here iPhone 10 S running iOS 13 GM, probably one of the best updates in a while, smooth, responsive, pretty good connectivity, great battery life, overall, very good update. I install iOS 13 GM on my iPhone seven, 120 gigabytes. It's fine, but facing touch hang issues ever since updating to the GM and my iPhone X, I've had issues with downloading mail and podcasts as well as seeing my entire Apple music library. I cannot fix the latter two issues even after restoring my phone. So any help would be welcome. Uh, they've had issues with iCloud all through this beta and there's not a whole lot you can do with it. And finally, 10 S max GM. It's really good. Other than some minor bugs like Instagram volume issues, which may just need an update for iOS 13. I do something have anima animation glitches like when clearing the notification center, I think is what you're trying to stay there. So that's it for iOS 13 GM. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description as I always do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you'd like to see more of these videos as soon as they're released, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.